I think so many female artists would not be where they are and would not have the inspiration they have if it weren't for the work that she's done. That's Taylor Swift paying tribute to a musical artist who truly inspired her. Lana Del Rey! Oh, Celine Dion was also there too, yada, yada, yada. And Taylor Swift ignored Celine. Yes, she did. She acted as if Celine Dion was just a random presenter. Yes, Celine was there to present Tay-Tay with her first album of the year award, if you don't count the three she's already got. It's a huge deal for her because she's battling her own ailments right now. She's kind of stepped away from public life. So for her to come on stage at the Grammys to present this final award of the night, Huge deal. She just kind of grabbed the statuette, didn't acknowledge her, didn't hug her, nothing. But Taylor fixed that backstage as soon as she realized her error, slash discovered the entire world was talking about how she snubbed Celine. And her acceptance speech was fine. I had a bigger problem with her first speech. It was really cringe. I mean, I hate to say it, but when she started off by saying, Okay, this is my 13th Grammy. She said, in case you didn't know, 13's my lucky number. Honestly, I love her. I don't think she had a great night in terms of just go getting on stage. It's cringeworthy. Yeah, yeah. it bugged me. It's like, we get it. We know you're famous and you're successful. You don't have to rub it in our faces. Enough already. Wow, someone get the Passover herbs, cause he is bitter. As for Taylor, come on, what was she supposed to say to Celine? She could have said, wow, to get this, this fourth one from a legend like Celine Dion. Oh my God. Oh yeah, that would have been perfect, actually. Congrats on your wins, Taylor!